there was another very emotional moment on the 29th. It was when a certain young man dropped a bomb on all of us very casually in the post-match presentation, where he said that he's retiring from T20Is. And we obviously want him to come up on stage and say a few words. Please welcome number 18, Virat Kohli. How heady and crazy have these last four days been? Firstly, uh, a big... A big thank you. Um, to all the people turning up in the stadium and what we saw on the streets tonight is something I'm never going to forget in my life. Sorry, what was the question? <laughs> That's the last four hours. I asked about the last four days. Four days have been um, a roller coaster of a ride, honestly. We won the World Cup. We wanted to get out of Barbados as soon as possible, get back to India, celebrate with everyone. Got stuck in a hurricane bit of an anti-climax feeling but since we came back what has happened has been phenomenal as I said and just the final day in itself was truly truly special I'm sure like everyone in the stadium at one point we also felt like man is it gonna slip away again and then what happened in those last five overs was truly truly special it it was You know, we... What I would like, um, what I would like everyone to do is to applaud a guy who brought us back into games again and again and again in this tournament and what he did. What he did in those last five overs, bowling two out of those last five, it was phenomenal. A huge round of applause to Jaspreet Bumrah, please. And yeah, man, after the game, I knew this was it. That was the moment. Time to step away, let the young lord come through and, and take the Indian flag forward. Uh, just on a side note, I'm thinking of starting a petition to call Jasmeet Bumrah a national treasure in the eighth wonder of the world. Will you be the first person to sign it? You should do that. I'll sign the petition now. <laughs> Let him decide what he wants to do with his schedule. <laughs> we want him to play as long as possible. He's a once in a generation bowler and we're so glad that he plays for us. This ground, 2nd of April 2011, and then today, this ground, this crowd, always giving special memories with World Cups. It's amazing. I remember when I won that World Cup, you asked Rohit the question as well, when he won the first World Cup that he was part of. Honestly, I, I could not connect with the emotions of the senior players at that point of time. I was like, I don't understand why they're crying. Um, for me, it felt like, yeah, we won the World Cup. It, it's as easy as that. <laughs> yeah. I was 22, 23. But now, it is a different feeling. I remember I, I'm saying something about Sachin Paji when we won that World Cup, that he's carried the burden for so long. It's time we carried him on our shoulders. And, and now, to be in this position, not just me. Uh, Rohit's played for so long as well. We both have been trying this for so long trying our hardest when I was captain. He was a senior player in the team, now he's captain. I'm one of the senior players in the team. 
the only aim was to win India World Cup. Um, so I hope that we have carried that burden to an extent and given the results that the country wanted us to, to provide to them and no better place to come back. The last time we, we won here, it was one Khede, bringing the trophy back here is a truly special feeling. And it is because this is a very, very special stadium and I absolutely love playing here and love the crowds here as well. I mean, the both of you, the senior most members of the team, you know you both broke the internet with that picture of the flag across your shoulders. Are you aware of how much you have broken the internet with that one picture, the two of you? I don't know about breaking the internet, but uh, this is the first time in, what, 15 years of playing together that I've seen Rohit show, much, so, show so much emotion on the field. Yeah. <laughs> when I was walking up the steps, I was crying, he was crying, and we hugged. For me, that's going to be a very special memory from that day. Because all said and done after so many years, the only goal is this. The only goal is Indian cricket and the Indian flag. And that's what we take pride in. It is so amazing to see, especially the two of you, him winning in 2007, you winning in 2011, as young lads. I've known you as young lads. I know you now as family men and adoring, adorable fathers. To see that journey with the two of you, the fact that you've carried the hopes and dreams of one and a half plus billion Indians and taken us to this trophy. I thank you on behalf of all of them. Thank you so much, Virat. Thank you, guys.